Okay, so this is a bit of a follow-up um, video to the one that Julianne already made with using the indirect formula um, to um, format uh, pixel activity. So the indirect formula, what it allows you to do is that it allows you to house all of your answers in a second sheet that you later hide so that then um, students can't find it as easy, right? So they can't just go into the conditional format and then find that answer. However, if students are uh, familiar with sh um, sheets to begin with, they can very easily go and unhide that sheet and then eventually find the answer. So it really does depend on their level of expertise um, and going and later on having access to this. So there really is no sure way um, to hide absolutely so that students cannot find the answers on Google Sheets because you are having students make a copy that they can work on their own. So anytime that students are making a copy of your work, that copy then belongs to them. And it's like they're the administrator of that, the owner of that um, particular um, sheet, the one that they are editing. So then they have access to changing anything that they want. And that includes being able to see the answers. So if you didn't want to mess with all of that, then you can always be the owner and create an individual copy for each student that you own and then share that. Um, but that would take way more time and you would have to individually give the students a different link that you own rather than using tools like Google Classroom that generates the copies for you. Okay, so that was a little bit of a preview of what we're gonna get into. This sheet that you're looking into right now, um, the reason why I have it up here is just to explain the formula that you're typing in and also so that you have time to write it down or screenshot it um, in case you want to come back later because we do know that once we start formatting, this is really, really small text um, and it makes it hard to see on a YouTube video, especially if you're watching it um, through your cell phone. Okay. Another, um, I guess just to preface before we get started, this is definitely more of an intermediate um, thing to do with sheets. It's not necessarily a beginner skill. If you're a beginner, you can still definitely follow along, but I highly encourage you to try um, formatting in the way that we've been, do we've been showing in other YouTube videos and then giving this one a shot, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you um, a really fun activity. I'm gonna start off by copying this. Um, that then I am going to fully format, not in this video, I'll format just a couple um, so you get the hang of it and then I'll format the whole thing and I will share the completed, the completely formatted one so that um, those of you that are watching can try your hand at making your own and then sharing it back with everyone to see how many different um, reformats we can get. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go through this first. This red part here, I color coded it. D17 is the place where you will have your answer. So let's go back and look at what that looks like. This is the activity that we're going to be reformatting. Um, D17 is this um, format here. So if I put a one in here, it has now changed. When I take that out, the answer is incorrect. So it turns into this background color. I want this whole thing to end up being blue. What I wrote in here is where you will type in your question. I just put U72. That's where my answer is secretly hidden. Okay, so sheet two, this part here, sheet two, that is the name of the second sheet. You can find that here. And this is where I put all my questions so that I know what number they are. And then all those answers, which is what you'll go into later and change so that you can easily reformat this. Okay, so it doesn't matter what these are. Another thing that I like doing is I like setting everything up as text rather than as numbers. Because then, especially, um, I do teach high school, um, so a lot of the times I'm not just, my answers aren't just numbers, right? They have variables in them, and um, Sheets doesn't recognize that as a number or a formula, it's recognizing that as text. Um, so I start off there anyway because um, you can tell Sheets to look at numbers at, as text. So I'll explain that also in a little bit because you'll be able to reformat this even if you're doing this for like language arts it doesn't have to be numerical answers okay so again these are the answers this is sheet two so u72 that is where the answer u72 that's this part of the formula here that is where the answer that i put in is on sheet two 
Okay, so again, I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna copy this. I'm just copying this whole thing here. You will probably have to type it up the first time um, or I'll try to put it in the description. If you're beginning this on your own, if it's a completely different pixel art, you're not using one that's already been formatted, it is your own, you will likely need a new sheet. You won't have a sheet too. So in order to get a sheet too, you do have to hit this plus button here that says add sheet and it will give you sheet two. I have selected this field here, T71 and U71, for no particular reason. I just randomly selected a spot every time I happen to land on a different one. And again, this is just in case students do figure out where to find them. It kind of keeps them guessing um, where to go look. I will for sure never put it right up here in the front. It just makes it way too easy for them to access. Um, so I do scroll down a bit and go off to the side and then where I find some place that it's sort of hidden, that's where I start my work. I'm going to format this to 20 questions, 20 answers, which is why I have those 20 answers there. All right, so I already have the first one completed. I'm going to delete this. Um, I do like deleting as I put them in so that then I know which pixels I've already taken care of. So we're gonna do number two. When you click on here, if you can see your formula bar, it will tell you what field you're in. So notice how this is D24. That's what where my field is at. And the answer to that field is two. If you can't see this um, bar here, you do need to go to view and then show and formula bar. So if I unclick that, I don't see my formula bar anymore. And if your pixels are this tiny, right, you can't even see what, what field that is. So again, that was view, show, formula bar. Okay, now I can see my formula bar and I know what that is. I'm going to leave that be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select some pixels. So let's do the white ones. All right, so I'm going to select just some random pixels here. I'm, I'm holding clear. Uh, I'm holding the, uh, not clear, the command. Uh, you do use an Apple computer. Um, or if you're using a PC, then you would be holding down the control button. So I'm not going to click too many. Usually I do do a lot more than these. Um, but it's just to show you um, sort of quickly what that is. Once I do that, I'm also going to select where the answer goes because then it reminds me what that field was in case I forget, okay? Um, I do, um, I, I know that I'm noticing that that is the white color, right? If you don't know what that color is, you can always unclick this. And then when you go into your fill color, you can see exactly what color that is. That is my custom color. It's not specifically white, it's a bit of gray. So this is the color that I wanna tell my conditional format to do. Okay, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna select that D24. I'm gonna right click, view, and then conditional format. Once you're in the conditional format, this works very similar to any other pixel activity that we've done. I am going to scroll down here to custom formula and I'm going to paste that exact formula that I showed you in this document, okay? But this is no longer D17, right? Where I want my answer to be, I want it to now be D24. So I'm gonna change this to 24, so it's D24 indirect sheet and my answer is no longer going to be in field 72 u72 where it's actually at now is in u73 so it's the one that's right below it that's why i like putting them in an order in order because then it's very easy to change that formula up okay so that was u73 okay so notice how i mean you maybe you can't see it but those colors did change because now this is true you can see it here it went from purple to this green color, but I don't want that green color. I want it to be this color here. All right, that's it. Once you create that, I do like to go back here and then hit this fill color and change it to the background color. What that does is that it like resets those pixels that you chose so that when I go in here and I delete this answer, notice how they are now blue and they'll turn back to the color they're supposed to be when I put in the correct answer. Okay, so if I put in the correct answer, there those are. Okay, so I'm gonna um, close those out. Let's say you wanted more than that and you wanted a different color, right? I'm going to go back in here. This is the conditional format. I didn't close this up. 
I am going to copy this, so I'm going to control A or command A and then control C or command C to copy. So I've copied this formula now. It's the previous one that I did. So I can go back in here now and I'm going to select some of these. Um, it looks black, but it's actually dark blue. So then when they put in that answer, not only are they going to see the white ones that I just created, they're also going to see these blue, bluish black ones that I'm selecting. So I'm going to select a couple of a couple more here. Select this one too, so that it makes it easy for me to change it. And I'm going to click add another rule. Change this, go down to custom formula, and I'm just going to paste exactly what I just copied. I don't need to change this one at all. I just need to change the color. For me, it's this custom color here. I just already know I'm going to hit done. And while it's still selected, I am going to change those to blue. And now you're going to see those turn the background color. So now when I put in the two, not only did the whites fill in, also those black that I selected. And you can do this as many colors as you want um, per answer. You can have multiple formulas in there and they will all work. All right, let's do one more. Now I'm going to select some, uh, let's do this skin color. All right, so we're going to select Sandy's skin and Danny. John Travolta, man, I love this movie. I'm just selecting all of these, just to have a couple more. All right. And now we're gonna work on number three. Notice how I click, look at right here, it says BU61. That's the last one of these that I clicked. That changes, if you're noticing on the side, every time I select a different pixel. So when I click on, the very last one you wanna click on is where your answer is at, because then it tells you what that field is, D31. So I'm gonna, go there i just want to add another um, rule change the format cells to custom formula and i'm going to paste that one here but now i do need to edit it i want d31 that's where my answer is and i want that one to match one more than this so i want that to match u74 and that was that skin color which is this one Notice how that changed. I'm gonna hit done, and then I'm gonna change this to blue. And I'm gonna close this out. All right, so this is what you would keep doing for every one of your answers. As long as they're in the second sheet, it's going to work. And now when you're ready to actually put in your answers, right, let, you should be doing this after you have your worksheet done. Um, but if you're just doing it for other people to use like I am, um, when you're ready to put in the correct answer, let's say I wanted this to be um, 2x plus 3. Then what I need to do here is I need to go to sheet 2 and I'm going to change my first answer to 2x plus 3. And see how it changed? Now it's black because it does work when I erase this. The answer is correct. So you can change this to whatever you want. If I want this to be apple, Right, the word apple, I just need to go to sheet two and I need to make my acceptable answer here be apple. And now it works. Okay, so the way that I made this work, whether it's a number or a word, um, I did change the whole thing um, to accept, I'm changing everything back to the normal one, um, to it be plain text. And I do like formatting this way rather than numbers, again, because I teach high school. So I'm going to if you click this button here to select all, you want to format, go to number, and change that to plain text. It's usually an automatic. I like changing it to plain text. Again, that's just a personal preference. It kind of helps me troubleshoot a lot of um, the times where something doesn't work. And then I do the same thing to the second sheet. So I'm gonna cl click on that, format, and plain text. And that's all you gotta do. All right, so this, this is it for the tutorial. It's a quick one. Um, if you want to know later how I hide this sheet and the answers, take a look at the other videos when we did the puzzle activities. I do it the same way. Um, so there's a video already in there. It's called how to hide the second sheet and the formulas. So that's what I do at the end once I'm done with all of the formatting. I hope you found this video useful. Take a look in the comments um, for this completed activity in case you want to format it yourself. Have a great day.